Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to solve the first case for the finals of the South African Excel Championship, uh, which is called Farming in the Land of, of Vines um, by Stein Walmerans. Uh, actually, first time I see this case, so this will be a live solve. Uh, I think you have noticed a small change in the setup of my of my camera uh, and i would also add another small um, disclaimer which is uh, i've officially switched my keyboard to the us layout to prepare myself for the finals uh, in december in las vegas so uh, it's been a couple of weeks that i started training with this keyboard uh, for now just during practice um, so you will uh, uh, forgive any let's say mistype or uh, ad, let's say uh, potentially wrong input uh, because the position of the keys uh, is uh, is really different especially when it comes to uh, comma uh, point uh, semicolon uh, and stuff like that also plus minus and equal uh, and brackets as well uh, for Italian is different so uh, the learning curve is still there I hope to be to be ready of course for vegas uh, uh, i will give a try for the next battle in uh, in september already with a new with a new layout so uh, that is why maybe uh, it might be some uh, some strange inputs uh, having said that let's start the uh, timer in order to to track my performance uh, and without further ado i will go into that i've already imported my uh, solver worksheet let's see what we have for this uh, for this case so um months are 20 day 28 days long each season is three months of duration the crop is this plant on day one and takes n days to grow and will be ready on the on day n plus one for example a 12 days crop is planted on day one and will be ready on day 13 1 plus 12. some crops takes a number of days to grow and then until plant is harvest other crops those with days until recurring harvest of one or more continue to provide more harvest every X number of days until the end of the season without replanting. There is enough time for a crop to fully grow by the last day of the season. That harvest is considered a failed harvest and not worth anything because you're doing all planting yourself and due to the fact that it rains regularly, the only input cost you have is seeds. Okay. Uh, you also have this sort of uh, crop data. Uh, seed cost per plot, price per plot, uh, days until first harvest, recurring harvest. Uh, okay, I'm assuming I will need my crops. Uh, seed cost, price per plot. days yeah. harvest and a recurring harvest okay missing a t but that's okay how many days does it take for the first harvest of each crop uh, i forgot to uh to hide actually this uh, and also let's add as well this so it's just a simple x lookup of this uh, into crops returning this harvest i don't know apparently yes let's see for the first three uh yeah for the first three questions it's probably like this okay how many crops per season assuming 20 days per month three months per season a crop is planted on day one and takes some days to grow uh, will be ready on day and plus one for example 12 day crop is planted on day one will be ready on day 13 a crop that isn't uh, ready on the last day of the season is filled crop and can't be sold you can plant a new crop on the same day you harvested the previous batch Sample two green beans take ten days to grow until first harvest and offers additional harvests every three days over the season. Uh, equates to harvest 
25 hours day 11 14 melons take 12 days so you have six harvests okay next time we have okay uh yeah maybe let's switch to uh this so we are on example two so green bean uh x look up this into crops so i want my harvest let's x look up again into harvest recurring uh so we'll have uh 20 days per month three months per season yeah for sure there is a shorter formula but let's assume uh, uh So in this case it's 20 days, three months. So it will be a sequence of this time this. And I want the mod uh, 29, this 29 plus one. I'm not sure, no. Uh, is not correct because this needs to be uh, clearly one oh my god I feel so terrible with mod if x equals zero then one otherwise x uh, Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> I'm already losing a lot of time. Uh, it's okay. Why 30? Because like this. So it was correct. Mod of this twenty nine plus one. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. This is uh, horrible, but <laughs> F this equals this otherwise zero. Okay, first harvest. And it's not one. Mark in the row. Okay, so this is the first A recurring. questions I have 
over complicated clearly this uh, this thing what if I simply do um, this plus this time sequence of I don't know 50 okay and it's just this and then if this is then or equal to uh, this plus this o'clock another way zero so twenty five yes sample to be Ah, because you can plant again, okay. Plus this time sequence of fifty. one okay <sighs> oh my god if this equals zero I will go for this otherwise this uh, let me check for the first three okay Okay, 11 minutes wasted. How much can a total harvest for all the season be sold for? Example, the green bean sell for uh, 40 per plot, 25 harvest over the season. Sample three. Uh, green bean. Look up and to crops. Uh, price per plot. This times this. This times this. So one thousand should be okay. One six five zero, okay. So that's it. Should be confident. How much profit would you make over the entire season planting specified crop with one plot of land yielding one batch at a time? Maximum beans 
Less the cost of seats, 35. Since the copyright initially, you only buy seats once. Okay. Uh, price, cost. So this is the seat cost. In this case, it would be this minus this, and in this case, it would be this minus this times this, I think. So, example four is 965. Example 4b is 880. Okay, so I'm gonna simply shift one above. Level 4, let's update and let's go. You can obtain access to fertilizer that costs 10 per plot. The use of fertilizer decreases the time between planting the fir and first harvest by 30%. Round it up to a full day. Fertilizer needs to be used each time you plant the crop, but it does not reduce the time between subsequent harvests for plants. Yielding more than one harvest, how much would you earn over a season? Remember, you will only choose to use fertilizer if results is more profit than all you doing. Example: We missed extend days on fifty hours. Yeah, reduced by thirty percent. Save you three days, and since additional harvest of three days each, this will mean you have an extra harvest. Thirty-six harvest multiplied by seventy. Blah blah blah. Sure, that ten days. Okay. Okay, uh, so example five. In this case, so without fur. and with fertilizer. percent so this will be a roundup of this times 0 0.7 zero the recurry will be the same this and then this one is here uh, t -t -t -t. price price cost Cost and in this case costs ten per plot. So minus ten because it's just one plot. Example five nine nine five, which is this. Example five B is nine fifty. Guess seven twenty. Meaning eight hours per season. Okay. Selling price two. What? Yes. 
Ah. Times this. It was 880. Okay. Uh, it's the max of U8. And this. Otherwise, is the max of R8 and this. Uh, five, let's go. Which is a given point of fertilizer on two decimals above which it does not make sense to use fertilizer for each crop point where the extra cost for using for is equal to the extra revenue from using it. See additional profit from as a fully for the season due to the honest What? Results in 360 uh, more profit and uh, our eight harvest. sure I understood the logic behind but I've lost a lot of time sample 6 since the additional profit is R4, R40 because I'm looking at this Actually, it's 30 extra profit. Why 40? Sixty more profit. Yes. Or fertilizer is a stand. Eight harvests that is R45 increase in profit per harvest, which means that if the price of fertilizer increased by R45 to R55, ah, okay, okay, I got it divided by this. This plus ten. It's forty. Sixty five. Fifty five. Okay, so if this equals zero. I will go for this, otherwise this. I think there is a problem here. This is level 
uh, seven actually. Uh, how am I supposed to round to decimal? I don't know. Start with 300 rand and 100 plus of lands. Your goal is to make as much money as possible by a specified crop. You use as many plots as you can, and when the first harvest comes in, you buy more seeds. If you know. I'm not sure which crops takes the longest to grow until harvest. Just add the crops, sorry. So, X lookup of this into. Harvest is returning crops. Uh, yeah, of course. Minus one. Which crop can be harvested most often over a season without the use of fertilizer? Profit uh, which is this what is this? Cranberry, apparently. Which crops benefits the most from the use of fertilizer? High guess increase in profit compared to not using fertilizer. Mm, F this equals zero. Uh, are we talking about a percentage increase or an absolute increase? But let's say it's this divided by, sorry, this. So without the use is this over this. Otherwise is this over this. So hot pepper, for example, it's actually uh, recurring, so loses a bit. 
melon which crop has the highest ratio between profit you make over season versus the amount of money you need to buy seeds and fertilizer input cost to start farming on day one highest ratio between profit you make over season versus the amount of money you need to buy seeds and fertilizer to start farming on day one Uh, so this is 10 plus this is the profit F is equal to zero. I will take this, otherwise, this. seeds and fertilizer to start farming on day one no this is not correct because no it's correct actually because it's just I mean the first purchase I understand so it's not any okay I'm at 30 minutes right now I have a little bit of introduction so maybe yeah but I'm not sure I'm going to solve level 7 in uh, less than one minute so I will stop the timer here. Let's go for the reveal actually. Uh, 9.30, so not great. Okay, I think I was not right. Yeah, I was quite right, everything. So I'm curious, uh, eggplant. 31 it's the highest ratio between profit you make over a season versus the amount of money you need to buy seeds and fertilizer to start farming on day one maybe they assume the wall uh, the work cost In this case is correct actually. It's probably this which is not correct because you know, cost multiplied by that and also the seed cost. So uh, ten times this this time this. Yeah, of course. I mean, a bit, bit, bit misleading uh, uh, because probably should have mentioned to uh, buy everything you need for the whole season day one, but uh, I understood just to, to start the business, so to speak, so the initial investment, but anyway, that's okay. I'm a little bit curious about level seven. Let's see, you started with 300 rand, rand? what <laughs> 100 plots of land your goal is to run your goal is to uh, uh maybe it's the currency south africa r maybe and one the plots of land your goal is to make as much money as possible planting the specified crop 
use as many plots as you can and when the first harvest comes in you buy more seeds and fertilizer to use more plots and so on how much money do you have at the end of the season if you maximize your use of the 100 plots for planting the specified, specified crop to make as much as possible over the season you can assume for simplicity's sake that the choice of using fertilizer or not is per season per crop and not per each harvest within the season uh, first hour comes in you buy more seeds and fertilizer to use more plots and so on how much money do you have at the end of the season so basically I start with one uh, one plot and when I can afford it I can go for a new plots is this the meaning so I can buy two plots sorry more than two plots actually at day one I could buy oh this is profitable to, to use fertilizer so I will go for it uh, so it means that each plot costs me 90 no that's not true because I need to use fertilizer uh, well wow if I need to model the fact that I will lose fertilizer nine times actually it's 90 money let's say plus 80 not clear if I need to uh, let's say deduct from day one the cost of the future fertilizers or if I need to build something dynamic to check uh, day by day what is going on in terms of uh, uh, money I can afford to eventually use the fertilizer but the uh, let's say full timeline I've built at the beginning might come handy here because uh, I will need to model up to I don't know how many plots hmm. very hard because I could start with this calendar start with the first calendar of the first plot or first two plots because I can afford it then check day by day what is my current balance assuming that I can sell uh, the harvest right away when it uh, when it comes and I think they say this you can buy yes more seeds and then build uh, additional plots up to 100 mm. I'm quite curious this starts from one maybe I just need a sequence of 28 three times because this is fixed so I've lost a lot of time before <laughs> the first 
it's like this. Twelve actually is thirteen. I would like to do this in one uh, one cell actually. for um, I'm not sure whether I should solve this now it's quite late here 9 in Italy at this moment or uh, solve this with a different video I think I will, will go for the second I'm very tired today I'm sorry to <laughs> to interrupt this but I think it's uh, it's better to to tackle this with a fresh mind so yeah, I think I will stop the video here. Uh, so it was a nice solve. Levels one, two, six plus almost all the bonus questions. Would be curious to compare my results to the people who uh, joined the, the live session. Um, anyway, I think the, the, the work done by the South African team uh, has been uh, amazing. Uh, they produced uh, two cases of qualification and three cases for the finals uh, hosted the finals in person so uh, thumbs up for the South African uh, case design and organizers um, and thanks also for allowing me to, to solve those cases so I will post a separate solution for level 7 uh, and will post the solutions for also cases uh, 2 and 3 of the finals when I will, I will have the possibility uh, for the moment, thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Bye